Tonight, the White House expressing alarm after explicit so-called deepfakes of superstar Taylor Swift flooded social media. The administration now calling out platforms for lax enforcement against artificial intelligence. One of the fake images of Swift reportedly shared over 47 million times on X in what advocacy groups say is a form of sexual abuse. I love it. Sound the alarm. Like, yeah. it's a, like it's a Paul Revere with a raging erection. <laughs> <laughs> the nude Swifties are coming! The, the pornos Swift. are coming! Yeah. It's time to go to Taylor Swift. Do we have to? Oh, shut up. I don't like Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift uh, AI pornography controversy because I think there's a, no one likes Taylor Swift. Well, a lot of people. A lot of people like Taylor. No one in this room is a huge is a Swifty. Yeah. Mm. Is a Swifty. I'm no. gonna shake that off. Are okay? you gonna shake that I'm off? I'm gonna no. shake that comment really? off. No. And I don't have any other references because I don't blood? know any other. Well, yeah, there's bad blood. That's don't make me spill uh, spill tear no, drops I'm not on a my fan. guitar. No. <laughs> That's a <laughs> deep cut there. Hey, yeah. you and I are never, ever, ever. Getting back together. Come you on. You sound like a gay. But this Time. is our song. <laughs> <laughs> our song's a sound of screen doors, Steven. Shut. Okay. <laughs> you know what the worst part is about this? The reason this goes back and forth is because I'm upset. Yes. Because he's a married man, but he belongs with me. Entertainment <laughs> Minute. <laughs> All right, so uh, last week, and this, this does bring up some interesting, uh, and I'm curious to hear from you, it does bring up some interesting questions, and, and, and certainly legislatively, where you do have to balance freedom uh, with problems that are presented in the new world that infringe upon uh, individuals' freedoms. Yeah. So there was AI-generated pornography uh, of Taylor Swift that flooded social media, and uh, that, of course, has sort of spurred a longer conversation about AI. Tonight, the White House expressing alarm after explicit so-called deepfakes of superstar Taylor Swift flooded social media. The administration now calling out platforms for lax enforcement against artificial intelligence. One of the fake images of Swift reportedly shared over 47 million times on X in what advocacy groups say is a form of sexual abuse. I love it. Sound the alarm. Like, yeah. it's a, like it's a Paul Revere with a raging erection. <laughs> <laughs> the new Swifties are coming. The, the pornos are coming. Yeah, the, pornos. the perverts are coming. Actually, I would appreciate an alarm that would tell me the perverts are coming. It would. Yeah, yeah. it would. Good, you know, yeah. Be nice. I mean, I don't really necessarily know that someone's perverted if they want to see Taylor Swift naked. She's in her 30s. You know, I'm saying, but it's, but it's wrong. Okay, let me, let me, before I get into trouble. So Twitter, <laughs> Twitter <laughs> suspended <laughs> all searches for Taylor Swift. And according to a post by X uh, Safety, they said posting non-consensual nudity uh, images is strictly prohibited on X, and we have a zero tolerance policy towards such content. Our teams are ad actively removing all identified images and taking appropriate action against the accounts responsible for posting them. We actually have an exclusive picture of said tech team live here, hard at work. Yeah, oh, geez. Well, well, that almost seems like they need to have a supervising manager. <laughs> <laughs> they said, we're closely monitoring the situation to ensure that any further violations are immediately addressed and the content is removed or, remo or committed to maintaining a safe and respectful environment for all users. Because when I think X, I think respectful. Um, <laughs> yeah, safe. definitely. That's e a place. And even more egregious, by the way, in the eyes of her fans, uh, rather than the AR porn, are the uh, photos of her on January 6th. Oh, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> that looks real. She was there. I We have to be peaceful. I knew you were in trouble when you walked in. Now, <laughs> here's like the thing song with AI porn, uh, pornography. First off, we you know agree that porn is bad for your, your, your soul. Pornography, okay? Yeah. I'm anti-porn. Doesn't mean that I don't like looking at naked ladies. This is the thing. Everyone will try and say, oh, you're a hypocrite. Okay, sure, fine. Every single man is a hypocrite because we've all looked at naked ladies. And we like looking at more naked ladies. It's like you, ladies, with dresses or shoes. We like looking at as many as possible. That's how we're hardwired. It doesn't mean that it's not wrong. Now, when we get to deep fake artificial intelligence porn, there is no federal law banning it on the books. And only yeah. 10 states, they have uh, any type of, of, of law addressing it. And our home state of Tennessee does not have those. So this does bring up some interesting questions. Actually, she's on CNN right now, Karen Jean-Pierre where um, she looks even more weird when she's not at the it podium because like she looks like her. She owns no neck. So, <laughs> Saturday, though, we have <laughs> Karine Jean-Pierre. Uh, she looks like a messed up carbon electric. She does. She looks like she might have a brother marriage certificate somewhere down here. <laughs> um, Saturday, she addressed the controversy uh, specifically. 
we are alarmed by uh, the reports of the, of the circulation of images that you just laid out, uh, false images to be more exact, and it is alarming. But you like using the word alarming. I don't think she cares. I don't think, I don't no, think she, she does not care one bit. She's like, white bitch, get what she asked for. <laughs> She's also a lesbian. I'm sure she doesn't care at all. Yeah. Just connect. The she's alarmed. Yeah, she's alarmed. Yeah. Fine. She's alarmed. She's like, do all bodies look like that? <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift's body doesn't look like that. No. That's Taylor first, Swift is no, albino. She has no first pain. time she saw curves on herself. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. Um, and I get it where people, you know, and this also happened with the Pornhub situation where they were saying, hey, you need to now verify your age. Uh, and I think that you should need to verify your age for pornography. Right. Problem is you also now have a major database where your privacy is being infringed. It was a different thing if you had to show ID to go buy, for example, a Playboy in the store. So this does come with some complications. And who is liable? This is how do we want to move forward here as a society? Uh, you can comment below what you think should be done. Some people are trying to say this is just like a Democrat psyop, and I have no idea what. There's a bunch of conspiracy theories. No, I don't think so. Allegedly, she could sue. Who, who's responsible? You have an AI generator. Let's say someone creates this through an AI generator. Um, the person, or is it the AI machine? Where I think that's probably the one that would have to be the most liable. Where they would have to program into it, hey, we're not no going protection. to allow AI pornography to be created with our AI software. Because if they allow for that to be done and then it gets distributed, the other component is people are profiting off of it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. That's very different from just a Photoshop. That's kind of funny. It's a meme. If a website is getting millions and millions of people watching this and making millions of dollars then someone at some point is responsible if it falls under the idea of you know fraud, defamation. Yeah, and it just seems like the law really hasn't caught up with this right now. We, we talked about it before the show. We were saying, like, you know, when Photoshop came out, you now have the ability to crudely put somebody's head or face over a body and be like, ha, 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 right? But you could kind of see that that's obviously not that person, and so there wasn't any real understanding that, hey, this, this, this could technically possibly even be real. Right. Now you've gotten, we've just gotten better at it. We've right. got better technology, better capabilities, but I don't think you go to taking away freedom of speech, right? And this is where you don't want to infringe on this. You do go to, well, what are the laws? Yeah. Uh, I, you can't, for example, if you want to put like, you know, Joe Biden doing a line of Coke with like, you know, underage prostitutes or something like that, you can't do that, right? That's against the law, yeah. right? You can't, you can't malign. Hunter Biden can now, Hunter, do it in I, person. I say Hunter. Yes. <laughs> I, I say Hunter. That's a gray area. There's a reason I didn't say Hunter. Um, but you can't do that with Joe Biden. So there are laws that we can just now start to understand how to apply to these situations. But like you said, it does go back to the AI generation. And then it goes to the sites that host it. If something's on a site that does break the law, which we've always stood for and said, look, if you have something on a site that breaks the law, they can ask for it to be taken down. Right. It should be taken down. Right. That's fine. That's what should happen here. And then the person has the recourse of suing and saying, hey, you profited off of my name, image, or likeness. Right? Yeah, the There's laws are pretty clear. It's like, is it, is it parody, satire? Right. This clearly is not meant to look like that. So no. people are fooled. No. And then are they profiting off of it? Those things typically are taken into account, whether yeah. it's copyright, whether it's false use of image, uh, whether it's defamatory. Um, so I, it, it, it's a tough one. But we are in an era, too, where this, we've talked about this is what we do, this clean slate campaign, where... It's just aggregation. Right. People don't want to create anything now. They just want to aggregate. You have scripts for crying out loud in Hollywood. They're using AI for huge bulks of these scripts. Uh, you're seeing this for a lot. of. That's why things feel less creative. That's why you go on Instagram and it's a scroll and it's a clip and a clip and a clip and a clip and a, cl a clip of a stand-up comedian on some profile who doesn't even know who that person is. Right, yeah. They saw one with George Carlin. They didn't even attribute it to George Carlin. It was like his name didn't even exist. It's like a whole special or something, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a big uh, case that actually existed. This idea of a reappropriating content. Right, well, you're, yeah. not, you're not transforming it used to be the law. And now you've added, hey, yeah, I get it. I'd be super pissed if I was Taylor Swift. You know, you, I don't, I'm not a fan, but she's not a porno actress. You know, she's not banging her brother like Elon Omar. So, you know, it's one of those things where you go, hey, well, hold on a second. That's not me. And that, that's something that her kids, if she, you know, ever ends up uh, wanting to be a mother, which, you know, probably when she's in her 40s and she realizes that her window has closed and it's too late. Ouch. She, it, she'll be upset about it. So, and this is the thing is, why are people only noticing this now, too? Like, yeah. this is a problem with culture. And, and, and this is I one thing I also want to clarify, too. Like, for example, as a Christian conservative, I was always saying, and we were always saying, like, you know what, rock bands, people, you know, people out there, some of the black pill, red pill community saying, bang a bunch of chicks. I think that's bad. I think it's bad for your soul. Yep. Right? Feels good. Sex feels good. Naked ladies. Okay, great. But it's bad for your soul and you lose a piece of it if that's the way that you live. I believe that pursuing virtue for the sake of virtue is more rewarding than temporary pleasures. Okay. 
That being said, I also have to defend Mick Jagger and David Bowie and Tommy Lee when you have people coming out 30, 40 years later saying that they felt exploited. It's like, you showed up for an orgy at a Motley Crue concert in 1987. <laughs> this, can't just be group, this can't just be a 401k for groupies. So, having said orgy, bad, morally, for you, personally, legally, this is not a violation of consent. And it's crazy now that conservative... Do, do you guys feel this way that conservative Christians are the one going, well, hold on a second, we've said this is bad for you personally. But we're also not saying that it should be illegal and these people deserve protections. And the left that was entirely pro-sexual liberation, yeah. birth control, women, go out and be whores. That's how you'll be just as powerful as men are now saying, no, 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 we're going to, we're going to disempower you by saying that you can't even take accountability for your proactive consent. You can retroactively pull it back. The sexual revolution now makes no sense. Yeah, and, and they, they're the ones that have come up with these consent apps, essentially, in the right. you know, like in cities like New York, where it's like, yes, can you know, imagine being in the middle of you know, making out with somebody, and you're like, hey, do you mind signing this uh, form really quickly? Yeah, it says how far we can. Oh, you're only going to let me go that far? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. By the way, there, uh, I don't know if you know this. Uh, it, is not ex- <laughs> it is not accepted uh, as legally representative in Somalia, consent no? apps. No? Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, they just swat that out of your hand. Not even a DocuSign, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, what's I, that, a PDF? <laughs> I, I have a sign. I have a theory of why it's important now. Uh, I saw an article the other day. I think it was Washington Post or something like that. It was somebody legit, kind of, and yeah. they said that <laughs> they uh, did a poll where they said one fifth of the voters said they would vote for uh, wh- whoever Taylor Swift is endorsing. Ah, oh. so they're idiots. Yeah, yeah, but definitely there. And I don't know wh- how accurate that number is, but I do know that she has a huge influence on a lot of people. She does. Yeah. yeah, and the fact that the White House came out immediately and says it's like, oh yeah, protect our golden goose, like protect our our egg maker, you know, whatever yeah. the phrase is. Go- golden goose, egg maker. You had it. I no, like golden egg goose maker. worked, and then you ruined it. You just you went nope. a little too far. No. Egg maker. Okay, all right, egg maker. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. She's her window's about to close. There's no male or female. There's just <laughs> egg makers. Literal. She also has a compulsion, by the way, Taylor Swift. This woman has a compulsive behavior to only date A list stars. Let's be clear. Yeah. Like, hold on. You never found like a nice guy who's just like a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took Travis Kelsey a couple Super Bowl wins for yeah, him to exactly. land. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh wait, you're in the biggest franchise. Oh, Twilight. Okay, you. Oh wait, John Mayer. Okay, you. Her. And it's just like, c- come on. Hold on a second. And then she's going to tell you about what matters in life? Like she's like the perfect little shallow floozy that she is? All right. Now let's go back to <laughs> this is something teenage girls have been bullied using AI generated images like for a long time now to the point of suicide. Here's a collage. All references are available. Yeah. Like this is something that has been going on. It is a problem. And I do understand mm-hmm. this too. I want to be compassionate to like a lot of people say these kids have no problems. You know, I, I had to, I was breathing in Agent Orange, you know, and in, in, um, sure. But. <laughs> You also got to come home at some point. And being a young kid, there is a chronic pressure of abuse. Where bullying, at least you could kind of go home. The bullying takes place wherever you go. Mm. Yep. And it's not lost on me that if you're a young woman and other women are trying to label you a slut, that you go home and boom, now you have to deal with AI images. That's why girls end up committing suicide. So it is a problem, and it's a problem where legally maybe there is something that can be done about it. Yeah, and a lot of people are asking the question right now, why are we just now putting this conversation front and center? We've talked about a lot of cyberbullying. That's been something that's been talked about, but it's kind of this nebulous thing that a lot of people don't grab a hold of and understand what it really means. With this kind of technology out there, it has created an entirely new problem where it's not just Taylor Swift, it's some 14-year-old girl that killed herself. Yeah, Literally, right. a 14-year-old yeah. girl killed herself, I believe, last year because of AI-generated images making her out to be this floozy. Like, you can create these images and put them out on the internet. You have, I mean, it, it takes seconds to be able to do. Mm-hmm. Terrifying. And you've destroyed somebody's reputation, and you've destroyed the world of somebody who's not in a position to make great decisions about life at 14 years old, right. especially girls with the pressure that they have at that age. Like I cannot imagine having social media in high school right now. I can't imagine it because I could go and take care of a bully. I can go and confront a bully right there. I can confront a rumor with my friends. I can't confront something that's already reached thousands of people right. before I even knew it existed. Yeah, yeah. the other schools right? in town and yeah, exactly. yeah. kids at your church and no. everything else. Yeah, it's terrible. Especially if you take care of a bully who <clears throat> happens to be a black guy, you're the one on the hook. Yeah, it's okay, though. I got to pass. Uh, this is the clip of Jessica Beale talking about eating in the shower. Now, before you get aroused, it's not at all remotely arousing. 
Guys, thanks for all these questions about shower eating. I'm just so thrilled everyone's <laughs> so interested. I really want to, you know, start a movement, a shower eating movement. I think for people who are multitasking, it's just going to be such a huge relief in so many ways. Here's my rules with shower eating. A ledge is really helpful. Something that you can stick mm -hmm. your yeah. cup. Jump off it. Your yogurt container, <laughs> your coffee, your espresso, whatever it is you're enjoying. But I like to no take cotton a bite of candy. It Turn it into a crock ledge. pot of ass and bacteria. You Wonderful. You wash your hair. Keep the soap about that's a big deal oh, it's God. pretty simple guys you can do this <laughs> come on steven that's not weird at all i do it all the time what you do yeah i do actually i gave uh, I, I gave uh, tim a tape oh no Ugh. Is, there are many things troubling about that. You get, you you gave that to Tim willingly. You, yeah. to a man, you brought a cameraman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Persaad. Oh, well, okay. An yeah. old interpreter of mine. From they work at very <laughs> cheap rates. Yeah. He's a good guy. There's a lot about that that is wrong, but um, now I understand why <laughs> yeah, everyone in the office is sick. Yeah, no one, well, no true. one here would sh shoot it. <laughs> I wasn't gonna. No, <laughs> I had to hire my own guy. I don't know. I guess that's about all we really have to talk about with the AI pornography. You can let me know what you think or if you've been the victim of it. And uh, if anyone, by the way, does it with me, just make sure you do the unit justice. That's been uh, Hollywood Minute. Watch Ladder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.